Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be talking you through some of my current wish list items. Obviously makeup, so it's just a bunch of makeup items that have been on my wish list for a little while that I just thought I would have a chat about why I'm wanting them, why I haven't got them yet, and stuff like that. So if you're interested in seeing my current wish list, then please keep on watching. Hey, so can we just take a moment for this highlight? Look at my nose. Look, holy shit, I just want to take a quick moment, shout out to the Hourglass Ambient Absolute Strobe Light, or actually Metallic Strobe Lighting Palette. It is everything. I kind of splurged and got it the other day and I'm so glad I did. Um, um, are you actually serious? It is the most gorgeous highlighter, probably ever, it's probably my new favourite. But anyway, let's get on with the video and why you're really here. To start off with, I've got a list on my phone, so if I keep looking down, that's why. So to start off with, the first item that was on my wish list that only was added to my wish list recently, and I still don't know whether I want to get it, is the Josie, I'm sorry if I'm saying this wrong, but Josie Moran Foundation, the like the Argan, Argan Oil one. So I think I've only ever heard like one other YouTuber talk about this, which is Kathleen Lights. I think she says that she really likes this one a while back. I heard her saying that and it makes sense because she talks about having dry skin, which is also my issue. And this is has argan oil or it's argan oil based, which is really unheard of for foundation most of the time because a lot of foundations are like oil free and like that's how they market it more towards people like with acne and stuff like that whereas with me like I can take as much oil as I can possibly get so I really have been wanting that foundation the issue that I have with it and the reason why I haven't bought it yet is because the shade range is really weird like there's very 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 small shade range I think there was maybe 10 shades like it's not very much at all and the undertones are a little bit yellow for me um, and like the it's just so weird because like the lightest shade is like stark white way too white for me but then the next one down is a little bit too dark so I feel like the there's a lot of like beige like a lot of like in between medium shades and then there's like no darker shades so it's just kind of weird and it makes me feel a little bit uncomfortable and I don't know if that's something that I want to support um, I did swatch it when I was in Mecca the other day and it didn't seem really, really nice. There are very mixed reviews on the foundation, so again, that leads me to believe that maybe it not, is not that great. But again, these could be people that have been trying the foundation that don't have dry skin or that it's too oily for them. I don't think I could ever find a foundation that's too oily for me. The next products that I have been wanting to try is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brush Kits and their little lipsticks. Not their liquid lipsticks, their actual lipsticks. I've got one. Let me find it. So I do have one, like it's these, these type ones. This one is in the shade Rosewood. And the reason I bought it is because it's the name of the town that Pretty Little Liars is set in, which is my favorite TV show. And when I saw that they had a shade called Rosewood, which was named after it, that is literally the only reason I bought it. But it is a really, really gorgeous, really gorgeous lipstick, super pigmented, and it made me want to get more. Like, look at the pigment so gorgeous um i haven't worn it all that much i have worn it and it does have really good setting powder but it's just wearing like a deep red like that is a little bit more of a commitment than i can handle day to day um also i really want to try the blush kits they look gorgeous i think the one i want to try is pool party um i think it has like a really nice mauve it's got like a pinky one in it and then like more of a peachy one so it's got a really good all-rounders i have heard pretty good reviews on this from the youtubers that i do watch and the reviews on sephora look pretty good i don't know why i haven't purchased it yet it is a little bit expensive and every time i have it in my cart i'm just like oh i probably don't need it i've got a lot of blushes that are like that but i think maybe when i go overseas in a few months i'll pick it up then because i'm probably just going to do a bunch of makeup splurging when i'm there 
next up I really want to try Sunday Riley skincare so Sunday Riley is extremely expensive um, and that's kind of in the category of skincare stuff that I've been wanting to try recently so I have been wanting to try drug elephant and for Christmas I was gifted um, I think it was called let's do it um, like dewy skin do it yeah um, this set and it come, came with like really good products so it came with the luxury facial oil it came with a full size of the whipped cream which they're pretty popular for and then also the hydra gel um so yeah that's kind of the luxury skincare i'm delving into at the moment and i think once i've gotten used to that then i'll probably try sunday riley but i really want to try the good jeans and then there's the that oil in the blue packaging i totally forgot what it's called but i'll probably put a picture up or something so you know what i'm talking about but yeah i really want to try that if you have tried any of sunday riley stuff can you let me know if it's worth the money if it works for you what doesn't work for you if it doesn't and why it doesn't like i really want to know some info to be honest i haven't actually read many reviews on it i've spoken to a couple of people about it and they said that it is worth the money but i don't know like it's like a hundred dollars for like a bottle of oil which is just a lot of money when i know i can buy like a pure rosehip oil from the ordinary for twelve dollars so you know like i've heard such good things but at the same time i don't know if i could ever justify spending that much money on a damn oil. next up i really want to try some like this isn't specific to any product or anything like that, but I really want to try some good lashes. Um, I just don't know where to go or what lashes to buy and what brands are good to buy from just because I know a lot of brands are really, or a lot of companies are really sketchy when it comes to lashes. Some will say it's cruelty free, but then to find out that it actually is made with mink and I don't, I'm not going to wear mink, I'll only wear synthetic. So it's just kind of hard to decipher and then like there's this one company from Australia and... I'm not going to say their name or anything, but they were saying that it's cruelty free lashes, but nowhere on their website could you find what it was actually made of, which leads me to believe that it probably is not cruelty free. And I commented on their Instagram even, and they didn't reply. So, like, I just don't trust companies like that, and I find it hard to find companies that are not sketchy. So, if you know of any good vegan lashes, vegan cruelty free lashes, please let me know in the comments below because I want to try them also at reasonable prices because I am not spending $40 on a pair of lashes. Anything like $20 and under, please. Right, next up is the Fenty Beauty lipsticks. They literally came out yesterday, I think. The Matte Mazelle? I don't know. But those um, lipsticks, I really, really want to try them and I actually bought two yesterday so I'm waiting on them on the mail. I bought Shorty and I bought... I bought shoddy and I bought spanked so one of them is like a deep brown so I don't really have many brown um, like actual lipsticks not liquid lipsticks and spanked is more of like a dusty rose color that I have a million of but it was so gorgeous and I had to buy it um, so I really want to try those if those are a really good formula as it seems that they are then I'll probably get more because I think they look pretty gorgeous. So next up on my wish list is the Kylie concealers. So I had a conspiracy theory that these were going to be exactly the same as Colourpop ones. So they're pretty much in the same bottle. They have the same doe foot applicator um, and they have very similar shade range. I think Kylie has more, but they looked pretty similar. Um, but I have watched a couple of reviews and a lot of people said they are completely different. Colourpop ones are very mattifying, very drying very quickly. However, most people People have said that the, the Kylie ones are actually really dewy um, and they feel very light and they're not as full coverage as Colourpop and they actually sound really pretty um, and I think they're like 20 US dollars which is pretty middle of the road price range um, so yeah next time Kylie brings out anything that's remotely interesting I'll probably pick up concealer because I'm not going to make an order just to get a concealer because um, I have many of those but at the moment Kylie has not been doing anything remotely interesting for me so I'll probably pass on ordering from ordering that um, until there's something else that I'm interested in. So the next product that I want to try is something that's been around for a little while and it came back recently it was the Marc Jacobs Omega Bronzer so this is something that I've been wanting for ages and I wanted it when it first came out but it was so expensive um, but the more I think about it the more I want it um, like I just I think I swatched it when I was in Sephora and it was so pretty and it's such a perfect cool toned thing I struggle with because I have do have really cool 
I have really cool undertones in my skin, finding a bronzer that doesn't make me look like an Oompa Loompa. Um, and that one looks like it's just like the perfect bronzer and it apparently it smells like coconuts and I bet a hundred dollars that the butter bronzer is a dupe for it, but I want it anyway. Um, it looks so cute, so I definitely think that when it does come in stock, I will probably pick it up, even though it is pretty pricey. It's just something that I've been wanting. If you do, if you do have it or you have tried it, let me know in the comments below also, um, just so I know if it's worth it. Okay, so my last product is a setting spray. It is the Cover Effects Illuminating Setting Spray. I have watched two I watched two best of 2017 makeup videos so far not many and both people have had this in their favorites so I need to get it um, it looks so gorgeous I have a bunch of setting sprays a bunch of them say that they make your skin look dewy but I find because my skin is so dry it just ends up mattifying it it does keep my makeup in place but I want something that it's actually gonna make me look glowy and from the reviews that I've heard it actually makes you look glowy so it just looks so gorgeous um, the mist on it looks really really nice so I think that's also going to be on my list of things to get when I'm overseas because right now I can't really justify getting a new setting spray when I've got a million of them on my makeup desk here but anyway that was my current wish list if this is a video that you'd like to see again in the future when I have compiled another bunch of products that I want to get please let me know give me a thumbs up subscribe before you leave and I'll see you in my next video bye